involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. All right then. This guy is not very good at making his. I'm oh, sorry. Can you stop eating Skittles and speak? I'm sorry, it's just when, when, when you swallow Skittles, you suddenly get that Skittly taste at the back of your throat that makes you go... Whoa, what oh. the hell is that? Is that the back of Glados? No, uh, that's the front of Glados. Oh, he's just dead. Okay. Yeah, Especially this like guy. Lots of errors in his console. Don't know why. Anyway, so, hello everyone. Eva and Lili here. Beret in... Hand in head on head. This is mission. Find I can go right through her. Stop violating Glados like that. She's just. <laughs> you could say she's just hanging out. Now I'm Glados. <laughs> Pedos. Pizza, the, Wait, that doesn't sound right at no, all. No, 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 that doesn't sound right. <laughs> 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 Not at all. Wait. Outdoors. Mine's open, but yours isn't. What the hell? Oh, this is white dot. Okay, so yeah, the. It's a good job I read the description. Anyway, this is Mission Find and Kill Wheatley by. Shaw's Master NL Spunk 41, who also did the motel. I forgot to say that. The description is hint you must go in Blue Dropper. So, thanks to that hint, it was a find the pixel. You can shoot a portal through the bottom of the Blue Dropper. That would have made me. Um, Oh no, so you drop that back through the... Then you come out through your orange drop, I assume. Oh, no, maybe not. Okay, I'm gonna go follow you. Um, how many kings are those? It's not even there. She... Okay, let's go. In case there's anything hidden in one of these. Nope. Hello. Oh, oh, go through. Go through what? Here, put this on there. Oh, there's a button. Whoa! That's why I said go through. It doesn't like Peabody. Oh, wait, right, so those are buttons, but not buttons. Oh, okay. And it, uh, so if I stand on here, then you can come down. Come down. Yeah, that's just deadly acid. Doesn't look like deadly acid. That looks like orange marmalade or gravy or something. That's not acid. I was about to say, if orange marmalade looks like that, I would never, ever in my life eat it. No, probably more like gravy. But I mean, it's it's not. It doesn't look like acid. Well, not the it's because it's a deadly goo, it's not really... Uh, I think she actually has called it acid, hasn't she? I think so. But it doesn't look like <laughs> it normally does. We. It looks a lot more orange. Anyway, um, up we go, we're going up in the miles. Crap. So we just went all the way up and now we've got to go all the way back down again, really? Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. Oh! All the way back to the beginning, right. Bounce. Bounce. Okay, what killed you? The, uh, faith plate. Okay, don't touch the faith plate. This one's gonna send me the other way. Do I want to go the other way? Oh! Okay, yeah, go on the second place, please. Oh, 
Oh. Can you turn cheats on, please? Yeah. Oh, it. Oops. I didn't turn cheats off, even though I thought I did. No, it's First rule of, uh... Of Portal 2. Don't make one of your players get stuck. I in get... a in an insolvable area. I technically I could have gone and killed myself as well, but No, that, that should not be time. yeah, that's that's not no. a solution. No. Well this guy has a lot to learn. Yeah. Thinkingwithportals.com They have a wiki. And the wiki will help you. Not the first one, not the first one. Second one, there we go. Hello. Hi. I don't know why I expected that to actually open. Yeah. Okay, so it's one. Didn't mean to hit that one. <laughs> oh, I need bats on there though. Okay, oh, there better not be another hundred pixel. I can see something in the corner here. I don't know if it's just a glitch or that's a problem on kind of bad maps you don't know if you're seeing some can you see it as well i see some blue dots yeah the problem is that just the map being bad or is that actually what you're supposed to do well this part is um, I'm gonna save us a bit of time. Okay, yeah, that is definitely the wall. I don't know what opens it though, but you can go through it. Screw the wall. Screw the wall, we can't be bothered. Just, no, yeah. Turrets, probably. Oh, look at that, turrets. Oh! Oh! oh back. Ah! Oh, this one. Oh, for fuck's sake. Thank you very much. I see you. Oop. Right here. One man. Okay, we've got lasers. We've got oh Wheatley. Is that Wheatley? Dose. I can't even see him. Wait, it's core dose. And I assume... all I'm seeing is nothing but black. Oh, I see a Glados chassis with Wheatley, with a. Okay, it. I I see red lights. The other core attachments, but I I just see a silhouette of the chassis and Wheatley. I see a little silhouette of a uh, Wheatley. Scare moves, scare moves. We play bottle or two. I can press a button. Ah, oh, we killed Wheatley, did we? That killed Wheatley, really? That's water. Why is there water over here? I have no idea. Do I have Oops. to jump up and grab Wheatley? Yeah, no, the exit's open, look. Good job. Alright! Does it even touch um, Wheatley? Sailing through the air majestically, like an We're eagle. sailing through the air! A blimp. What? Alright! This guy has a lot to learn about mapping. Um. That's terrible! 
Most of this seemed to be just um, crap stuffed into a uh, PTI map. Um, yep. Which uh, I think that's that's pretty much all it was. Because um, they're playing PTI music. Yeah, you um, a couple of points for at least managing to import Glazos into the PTI. That's not hard. Well, no, he, he took his PTI, opened it in Hammer, whatever he was using. Um, could have been style wide, could have been B mod, I have no idea. Um, actually, I'm not sure if you can get Kleidos in there. But anyway, he just sort of stuck him up there, didn't add any animations, um, yeah. any kind of collisions, and actually, Wheatley was not working for me. No. Um, so, but, I mean, no, but I mean, what, what I'm saying is that he went to the efforts of doing all that, but at the expense of the map. I mean, most, I'm going to say that, well, a significant percentage of map makers on the workshop wouldn't know how to do something like use the Glados chassis, but just... I don't know, you add, um, she's kind of in probably one of the drop downs, um, adding her is one thing. Animating yeah. her and making her useful is oh, another. Yeah. That's another yeah, thing. Uh, yeah, she was standing there. She was broken with the weekly core on it. I would be impressed if there was some movement. There wasn't even, you know, the little kind of serpentine thing she does for her idle animation. There wasn't even um, any collision detection. <laughs> yeah, there was no collision. Um, what was that end bit? Sorry, sorry, sorry I'll let you. Yeah, I'm still complaining. Um, yeah, the end bit as well. Um, Wheatley was not working for me. I saw a big old black shape that I can kind of guess was the chassis in Wheatley, just because, you know, I know what they're supposed to look like. Um, otherwise, it would just look like a amorphous shadow just sitting up there. Um, also, no animations, also, no movement. Um, I do know there is ways to animate them, and I'm you know, I'm, I'm not a map maker, but I don't really think it's all that hard because I've seen, like, the screenshots at the drop-downs, but making them... You just have them do something. And, and just pushing the button and making a laser does not actually kill Wheatley. The laser just didn't need to go through Wheatley. It wasn't even near him. It meant Technically, like... they were going through the chassis, I know, but... A bit, a bit, only a bit through the chassis. And... Yeah. Even then, I mean, uh. It doesn't make any sense at no. all. Um, thinkingwithportals.com has a wiki. Um, gives you all the basics you need to get started. Um, forms are full you of know. Huh? Forms are full of good, friendly map makers who can help you. Yep, they can, they can uh, give you advice on some things that you're having problems with. Um... You know, you could also, you know, look at other maps, see how they do things. Um, it's good you do want to try and add some things to maps, but uh, learn their basic functions, learn their basic workings before you actually stick them into a map and say, hey, I made a map. Uh, and, and, I don't know, even, even before then, though, just uh, come up with a puzzle. Cause, I mean, there wasn't anything particularly puzzle puzzling in that map. No, there was no puzzles it's at all. Just, here's some face plates, just jump on the face plates, bounce, 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 now you're in the next area, go through this, bounce, walk through the door, kill a couple of turrets. And you can get stuck. And you can get stuck. Um, yeah, no player should have to kill themselves to go back and get another player. No, no one should be able to be trapped in a, in a spot. Um, you have to think about that when you're making a co-op map especially. Yeah. So that's that's my well, it's more than two cents. It's like fifteen cents. <laughs> cents. You get a dollar. Yep, I give him my dollar of advice. At least he has the trigger. I'm gonna give him that. <laughs> yeah. You get some. Fortunately, it's going to get a thumbs in the downward direction. Oh yeah. The orange thumb, actually. The I guess I, for some reason now I realize that they're orange and blue thumbs. Oh yeah, this is nice. Peabody's a jerk. <laughs> Peabody's always been a jerk. Actually, it'd been funnier if it had the uh, same number of fingers as the, the co-op bots have. Oh yeah. 
Because Atlas has three fingers and a thumb, and Peabody yeah. has two and a thumb. But anyway, All right. that is that map. Yeah. That was a thing. <laughs> That's a thing. We definitely did it. Yep, we did.